With 60 years of playing polkas and 100 plus albums behind him, Walter Ostinek is not ready to rest on his laurels. We caught up with Canada's Polka King a week after his 82nd birthday in downtown St. Catharines as he played a show at the In the Soil Festival. Just a couple of songs into the set, Walter and keyboardist Wayne Moulton have brought the tent to life. People are dancing and clapping along to the joyful sounds of the polka. The music is the soundtrack to Walter's life and dates all the way back to his childhood. Well, take you back to when you received your first accordion. You were about, what, eight years old? No, uh, nine years old. Nine years old. Yeah. So did you ever think that that accordion was going to take you to the places well, not that really, you Not really, but I, I loved it. But uh, I had a little bit of help from one of our boarders that played a little bit, and he gave me a few lessons. Then, then I started taking lessons here in St. Catharines uh, from Steve Boyack. And uh, I had, uh, you know, Ernest, Ernest Borkstrom and a few others that taught me. And uh, then it was uh, following uh, my idol, Frankie Yankovic, America's Polka King. And I got to know him real well. And, and play he, with him. Yeah, yeah. And, uh, you know, little by little, he let me in there. And uh, I played a couple tunes. And before you know, we were friends. And then I used to book him for jobs. And he booked me for jobs. And we did this kind of show. And that we did the. And we did the Phil Donahue show with uh, Lawrence Welk. We did the Johnny Carson show. We did different things like that. You know. Amazing. Yeah. yeah, it was great. Do you have a favorite accordion? One that you oh, yeah. always go back oh, yeah. to? Yeah, yeah. I have a couple. And how I do you have keep one. that accordion going? Do you take oh, it with no, yourself? Oh, no, no, no. I have, I have a repairman, a couple of repairmen. And, uh, uh, you know, if you look after something, it lasts forever. It's like a Model A. If you look after a Model A car, yeah. It goes on and on and on, and even though he was made in the 30s, you know, it goes on and on and on, and that's the way the accordions are. If you look after them, you don't want to abuse them and get drunk and step on them and put them <laughs> under a car. <laughs> is, is, is it difficult to convince young people today to pick up the accordion yeah. and, and learn that instrument? Yeah, yeah it is. Uh, it's not as glamorous as a six-string guitar. Well, no, no. The thing is that when the Beatles came out, and, uh, you know, and, and Elvis as well, but at the, when, when the rock and roll, you know, invasion came in, uh, it killed the accordion. But the accordion is making a little bit of a comeback. Some of the rock bands are using accordion in the band. The, the point is that uh, the, is it, it'll never die. Polka music will never die. Accordions will never die. Just that the thing is that it won't be enough to make a living like I did. Right. I made a living playing what I like. I was very fortunate. It was the right timing at the right And we did it. Yeah. Across the country, he's known as Canada's Polka King, but in these parts, he's remembered just as much for the music store that bore his name for over 50 years in downtown St. Catharines. They came to me and they said, the sons, the son, and said, Waller, we'd like to buy you out. Was the timing right? Yeah, terrific, perfect, yeah. It was good, and where it put the, uh, the little cream on the, on the cake was when they said, we want to buy your building too, right. so. And they kept Rick on? And they kept everybody manager. on. Everybody's all still there, and they've added twice as much uh, staff, you know, and they're doing well. And uh, so for me to get out now, it was, I'm used to it. It's great. Rick's still got the job, and he's being treated good. Austin X impact is undeniable. He has three Grammy wins and 21 Grammy nominations to his credit. He has been named to the Order of Canada and Canada's Walk of Fame, but through it all, he has always been a proud ambassador for his beloved city of St. Catharines. Do you feel like you're a fortunate man with your 60-year yes. career, your yeah. 100 albums, and yeah, I got all no, of those I got accolades? No. Wayne and I both say we have nothing to, to be, you know, we just have to be thankful, about, thankful for everything. Yeah, yeah, no, no, I've got, uh, you don't hear me complaining about anything. No, I had a, I had a wonderful life. All right, one more time. Walter Osnick has no plans to slow down. His 101st polka album, believe it or not, will be released this August, and he plans to be back on the stage at Marineland this summer. Reporting in downtown St. Catharines for The Source, I'm Mike Balsam.